Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to tonight's uh, score challenge. So I'm going to try and beat Jamie, who is currently uh, top of the leaderboard tonight. So if you could all let me know if you can hear me clearly. Um, make sure I'm coming through nicely. I don't want to be muted again tonight. Excellent. Sounds good. That's great. So, it's almost a weekend. Hope everybody's looking forward to it. But tonight, um, let's see how I get on with this challenge. Now, I've been practicing learning uh, the safety systems this week. So, like I'm sure many of you are aware, um, I'm not too familiar with them. And I've definitely had um, a few hiccups with PZB this week but hopefully tonight I'll be able to have a nice clean run and at least um, compete with Jamie a little bit so I'm a little bit nervous I must say um, haven't been nervous on stream for a while but I just mostly I hope I don't just get stuck so this is the scoreboard as it currently stands let me show you so Sam got 12,713 and Jamie got a really, his score is really strong with 13,452. So that is the score to beat. Um, so wish me luck, I'm gonna head straight into it. So we're doing spring clear. And we are doing the 822 service. Now, if anybody wants to take part at home, if you've um, if you've not been having a go, I'll give you a few minutes before I start it, because I know that Sam gave people a little bit of time to try and play along with this. So I'll give you a couple of minutes um, and see how you do. And maybe uh, if you play along with me and um, let me know what score you get. Yeah, so um, if it's yellow, acknowledge it. That is something I've been trying to do because um, I didn't acknowledge enough with PZB the first couple of times I tried it and then I got stuck. And then the other day, I think it was yesterday, I got stuck on the PZB because um, I was speeding too much and then I couldn't figure out how to get moving again for like about a solid 10 minutes. I just could not figure out which button it was and then, I f and then eventually I found it. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, release when it's ready. Right, let's get started. Now, if I don't chat too much while we're going, it's because it's really hard to concentrate on the game and the chat at the same time. So I'm not ignoring you guys. Um, I'm just trying not to get it wrong. When in doubt, acknowledge. Yeah, so um, I think Matt's tutorial for the um, safety systems has been most watched by the community team this week, if we're being completely honest. Um, I watched all of it the other night. <laughs> Oh, and the other thing is, like, I'm really rubbish at breaking, and I have a tendency to overshoot, and this thing is dreadful for breaking. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't get over how bad the brakes actually are on this, so... Oh, no! That is the first time I've done that. Well, start as you mean to go on. How typical.
No, I'd love to restart, but there's no restarts. I got one shot. Not a great start. No, I know. Where will it go? I did wrong. It went over 25 kilometers per hour. Do you know, I've been driving this beautifully today and now I'm on stream. I'm just getting it wrong. It's the pressure. It's the pressure. Turn off the chat. Yeah. Well, I think I've just put myself out of the running for winning, that's for sure. Breathe in, breathe out, press Q, yeah. Tip for braking, 600 to 500 meters, put it to 75 to 80 and then sun it, bring it up. I'll try that. If all I do is get tripped up by PZB right at the start, I'll be quite happy f with that. I don't want to get caught in the busy bit in the middle. Be prepared for some like for some uh, extreme breaking tonight, okay, guys? Like. Read chat at stations. Yeah, I will read the chat at the stations. It's really hard though when you can like see it going up. So like save your save your chat for when I'm at the station, okay? Oh, sugar. I'm gonna go a little bit faster because I accidentally pushed the emergency brake there. The train's not capable of extreme braking. I mean. The emergency brake is quite effective. As long as you don't pull a Sam and put it into the emergency brake, you mean like I just did? <laughs> I was putting it in the emergency brake so much today, I was getting on my own nerves. Yeah, I think I definitely need to, like, not panic. It's really easy to panic when you can, like, when you've made mistakes and then you can see this time just sort of ticking away. But I'm not going to just give up, that's for sure. I 
I hope uh, you hope I never become a train driver in real life. I mean, it'd be pretty dangerous if I did. Did I watch Matt's PZB video? Yes, I did. And I actually paid a lot of attention to it. Although it's not really looking that way at the moment. on this thing are rubbish. Okay. Go steady now. If you rush the controls, then you'll only panic. Yeah, I think that's what I did right at the beginning there. Like, I think I rushed it a bit too much. And everything I've been revising sort of just vanished out of my head. But I'm hoping that now I've made a mistake. Like, I, I won't make more mistakes. Like, If I overshoot, that's hardly new. Guaranteed spad coming up if I don't break earlier. I know where the red one is, and for some reason when I see red signals, I tend to be a bit more cautious, so I'm gonna try my absolute best not to spad. When in doubt, acknowledge PZB, yeah. I mean, I don't actually know at what point I'm supposed to acknowledge it, so I kind of spam click it a bit when I think I'm supposed to push it. Ooh, sugar. Slow down. Am I gonna have to apply an emergency? No, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. For some reason, this feels so much harder now I'm doing it live because I know everybody's watching me. Acknowledge just as you pass the signal. <laughs> Peer pressure is a thing. You guys are usually really good though for supporting me. I must say. Acknowledge when you see something yellow or flashing and then slow down. <laughs> Would it help if you closed your eyes? No, I don't think it would, because sometimes I rely on your eyes more than my own. <laughs> You're very good at giving me um, warnings, even if it is daunting knowing everybody's watching. You're very helpful. You can't see it, but like I actually wrote myself some notes for when we get to the really busy part, um, just so I remember what all of the signals and stuff mean. Because the um, different magnets confused me for a while trying to figure them all out.
Tifa's shouting at me. Okay. Let's go a little bit faster because there's a bit of an incline. I will check the chat once I've stopped at this station. I am not ignoring you. It's just really, really hard to concentrate on both at the same time. Okay. I was quite happy with that stop. Mr. JMB, lots of great articles this week. Enjoyed the Clinchfield one and today's arose one. I'm glad you've been enjoying the articles. It was lots to share with you all today. Rob, you say I've been playing this for hours, right? I have not. Um, I have been really trying to learn more than anything, but um, definitely not hours. And um, obviously I was um, using Matt's tutorial on the signals. If anybody um, wants to learn about the signals and stuff, I do highly recommend looking up that video um, just because it was so useful and it goes so in depth. I feel like I've learned loads. Uh, is there a link to the video? I'm sure somebody will post one now it's been mentioned. <laughs> Not hours, days, weeks. Uh, no, I think if I'd have spent days, uh, days or weeks on it, I might not have made that oopsie right at the start sure I started breaking early enough there. Oh, no, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. I think the fact we're going uphill a bit has helped me though. It's more engaging with all the systems on, don't you think? I mean, you have to pay attention. If you look away for one minute, the emergency brakes are coming on and you're wondering why. Ah, 
Have I ever been to Germany? No, I haven't. It's on my list of places to go, though. Anybody else playing the same route when watching this? Oh, that's that's cool. I'm glad you're playing along. Let me know what your um, what score you end up getting. Oh yeah. Um, I can imagine in real life it requires a lot of focus because if you weren't paying attention 100% of the time on a real train, that could have disastrous consequences. It's kind of comforting knowing that there's all these safety systems. So the nine means that I'm not allowed to go over 90 kilometers after the next signal, I believe. I think, if I'm right. So I'm probably gonna keep to 80, just to be safe. Yeah, 90 equals, 9 equals 90, yeah. I need to remember to acknowledge more as well. So I'm going to acknowledge as I go past this signal. And I'm pressing it again just to be safe. And I'm now not going to do over 80 just to be on the safe side. I needed to do it that time but I can go over 80 yeah but um I'd rather be safe than sorry in case I went a couple of miles over like if I went too fast and then went over 90 and then uh the game over there I think we're coming up to the tough bit, actually. I've got to concentrate here, so I'm not looking at the chat, and I might go quiet just for a couple of minutes. Right, which means I've got to go down, acknowledge, go down to 60. Slow down. Acknowledge. There we go. 
was a bit too close to 60 there. I think I gave myself... Oh, I made my tummy go. And then there's a red signal coming up. Right, I need to go way down to 25 kilometers now, come on. Slow down faster. There we go. And then now we're just gonna cruise to a stop. <sighs> that was the difficult part. Okay, that bit I really had to concentrate for. And um, I'm gonna make sure I don't go over 25 kilometers as I leave because the 500 hertz is still there. gonna go away too fast just so I don't bite myself again come on yeah the 500 hertz will disappear but then what aren't I restricted to 45 while it's still flashing and then once it stops flashing between 85 and 70 I can do a hundred, I think. Forty, forty kilometers. Oh, sugar. Oh no, we're okay. It's forty-five. It's forty-five. Whew. Someone said forty, and I panicked for a second there. Okay, now I can speed up. You can PZ be released to clear the 45 limit. Oh, I wish I'd known that. Oh, that just scared me then, the buzz in. I thought I'd emergency braked for a second there, and then it's actually just the LZB, isn't it? LZB is great. But when it did it the first time, I was like, what is happening? need to make sure I pay attention to Sifa. What time are we starting on for the challenge? 8.22 a.m. I imagine you're all uh, getting to see my really concentrating face as well. When is Matt's turn? So Matt's turn will be next week.
What route do we think the next challenge will be? I guess that depends on who wins. Do I think Matt will do better than the Bakerloo challenge? Well, probably, because I don't think he's going to be on a dev build this time. So I don't think he's going to... Oh, wait, was... Yeah, so he's not going to get himself disqualified. What route would I like it to be? Oh, you know, I tried thinking about that earlier. Like, if I won, what would I choose? Oh, dear. And, um... I honestly couldn't make my mind up about what I'd choose. Yeah, there we go. You shouldn't have taken it off. We're doing alright. I overshot a little bit there. Let's have a look. Although for me, that's actually not bad at all. Did I just put the emergency brake on? Yes, I did. Uh, Laser just asking, how do we choose the winner for the screenshot contest? Um, so there's a few things we look at. Um, first of all, we make sure that um, people are following the theme for that week. Um, and then we look at how the photo's framed, if it's a particularly um, clever shot or not. We have a look at uh, which one's got the most likes, although the likes don't determine the winner we still have a look at which one's the most popular and stuff like that and then um a few of us make a bit of a group decision deciding which one we think should win i think i might break a bit harder oh my gosh i keep putting the emergency one on instead of damn it I put the emergency on instead of going faster. That was annoying. It's the opposite of going faster. Yes, it is. I am indeed late by oof, three minutes. That's not good. Oh, and safety systems and the HUD off. That would be cruel. Why, 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 why aren't you going? This is the, uh, like, first time I've properly, properly streamed with the uh, safety systems on, so 
I'm happy I'm not just stuck in the middle of the truck for the whole hour. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down faster. There we go. Slowly crawl into a stop. What was Sam's score? I can't remember now. I don't think I beat it. Yeah, I made it through. I'm quite happy that I um, got through the tough part with the PZB working. It was just the, the beginning that let me down. But 12,873, I'm happy with that. I think it beats Sam's as well. I think him was his was 12,500 and something. Let's have a look. Um, so that's my score and Sam's was... Ooh, look at that, that was close. But I beat Sam. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Hey, I, did, I beat Sam. So there we go. Um, I am pleased with that. Excellent. Now we still got a bit of time left. Um, so we can do a nice little scenario. But yay, I didn't come in last. Yay. Thank you everybody for cheering me on. It helped a lot. Um, you guys definitely help me when I'm nervous, that's for sure. So let's do this little 20 minute scenario. I did beat Sam. Didn't think I was going to beat Jamie. He had one heck of a good score and I made too many mistakes at the beginning there. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with that. Moggy, your pom-poms made all the difference. Jamie practiced for two days solid. Didn't he already know how PZB worked as well before then? Now, if you think I'm putting the safety systems on for the next 20 minutes, that isn't happening. My brain needs a break. And it'd be nice to actually talk to you. So this is going to be a nice chill 20 minutes and I'll uh, see if I can answer some of your questions you might have. But um, <laughs> expect Matt to spad. Oh man, I hope he doesn't spad. It'd be funny though if he did. Like if every time he participated, he got himself um, disqualified. <laughs> no, I don't think Jamie should be disqualified. We all had the opportunity to put more homework time in. <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to using the safety systems more now. Um, because although I was nervous using them, they are actually quite fun. Um, and it definitely makes the game more challenging. Because um, you, you just have to concentrate the whole time. What is SPAD? Signal past it danger. This is a nice chill way to just end the stream and the challenge. I'm so happy I beat Sam though. Sorry Sam, but I am, I'm chuffed.
<laughs> it's true Sam did say well, I messaged him this afternoon and I was like what is going on with the brakes on this train <laughs> Spad is a failure, yeah, so you have to like start again if you spad. Have they updated the leaderboard graphic? Yeah, I'm hoping to have it updated um, by the end of the stream. I think Mike actually might have just sent it over um, and I'll update it before the end of the stream so you can see the leaderboard as it stands. You need to let me know who you think's gonna win. Was I not supposed to unlock the doors? <laughs> Doing a jig is allowed. Little little jig. Mike is on holiday, but he's also not on holiday. He's he's doing a bit of a mat actually. I really like, like how it's sunsetty. So who do you think's gonna win then really? That's the question. Do you think Jamie's gonna be remain uh, remain champion or do you think uh, Matt's gonna dethrone him? Okay, Sam's putting money on Jamie. Do you know, I think Jamie might actually have it this time. His score was so high. Oh, sh it's, a red, it's a red signal. Oh, God, you might be about to experience what a red signal looks like. Stop. <laughs> Look how close that was. <laughs> was I supposed to unlock the doors? What did I do? What happened? Oh man. Am I supposed to go back? I don't want to. Oh, there we go. I can't believe. Yeah, that's the closest one ever. Oh, I think I was supposed to stop at the station. Um, let's go off. Remove the master key. Yeah, because we're doing a scenario. How do you remove it? Isn't that the master key? There. head to the other end of the train. I was not paying attention, I was just ready to keep on going. Can I actually get off? Oh yeah, I can. Oof, I can't believe how close that was to failing the scenario. It was the end of the run, yeah, and I was just ready to keep on going. No wonder the signal was red. I can't get over how close that was. Yeah, as far as lucky goes, that was ridiculous. Now we can go. <laughs> I was just proving how to make the brakes work. That was completely intentional. Oh dear. My speeding now. I'm essentially just demonstrating what not to do at this point. Yeah, the professionalism there 
Not so great. So this is why you have to pay attention to the signals <laughs> and your speed. I'm playing it wrong. I think at this point I am indeed playing it wrong. It's because I got too excited. equals the definition of close call I mean down to the meter or yard meter meter <laughs> just you wait one of these days I'm gonna do an absolutely perfect run and you're all gonna wonder what happened yards thank you can I leave it on full power and see how fast it goes? Um, no, I'm not going to do that. But you can do it if you did the off the rails, I think. Should we have some kernel cam? Oh wait, I'm speeding. Do you know what? We're just going to have a nice shot of it coming in. Because there's a station there. It's too busy for Colonel Cams. No, I don't think there was a fault when I tried to close the doors. I think I was the fault because I wasn't doing it properly. Yeah, I wanted to try and do a kernel cam, but it's just way too bendy. Trying to kernel cam the other day almost caused you to Nebworth, Steve. The other thing I've noticed as well is um, even though I'm not using like the safety systems or anything now, I am much more aware of the um, signals now. I look so much more relaxed to 20 minutes ago. Yeah, well 20 minutes ago I was really, really, really trying to concentrate. <laughs> Nice bad coming into Faversham from St Pancras. Oh, you'll get better at it, uh, Ben. Keep practicing. Okay, I definitely need to pay more attention to the upcoming speed limits because I keep going over the speed dreadfully. slowing down for the 60 that's coming up.
Got a bit of an uphill. I'll give it a bit more power. Am I feeling more confident? So like, uh, yes and no. So like on scenarios, it is a lot harder to obviously fail, although I'm showing you how to fail right now as I say that. Um, but I feel like I understand a lot more now, more than anything. Now, if you're livery series, look at images on the internet, then work out what parts go on the train. Yeah, um, I'm going to be looking up like different images and um, trying to decide what I can put on the livery designer next time. I have a few ideas. Mostly I'm going to try and do a, a Nat Rail logo. Um, undecided what that's going to be yet. Yeah, I'm not allowed to recreate anything that is like already a logo or a brand or anything like that. I have to make it up as I go along. So, um, you won't see anything too realistic to real life, or else I'd get in trouble. Always have to zoom in for that. Set the reverse to out. Disembark the train. Okay. We're getting out. Look how pretty it is. Ooh. Lovely. Um, Moggy said, I have your permission to use the Moggy Rail Network logo. I don't know what that looks like. Just send me a picture. <laughs> Why am I not surprised I only got a silver on that? Um, I didn't exactly drive very well. Oopsie. Right, let's see if I've got this image to show you. Hold on one second. Yes, I do. Right, let's update um, this. Let's, so this was the scoreboard, and let's update it with the new one, which is ta-da! And that's it. So Jamie is still in first place, quite comfortably, and then um, I'm in second, and Sam's in third. So. Do we think Matt is going to beat him? I don't know. i still got a little bit more time. Um, so any suggestions, what you'd like to see before we go? We've got about 20 minutes. Any short scenarios you'd like to see? Should we do a different route? I am open to suggestions. Let's have a look. Mm, 
East Coast way, East Coast way. Ooh, go for South Eastern. Oh man, you're all suggesting different things. Rainbow, let's do that one. I've had a couple of people suggest that. Let's keep it on theme. And the point. Tees Valley Grant, Southeastern, East Coast way. Let's do something German. Help struck a rain roll. Let's do rain rust. Always room for more. Indeed. Rainbow double deckers. Oh, it's gonna try and make me do the intro. We're not gonna do the intro. Okay. Let's do a scenario. Commuter one setting out. Ooh. What is that one? Let's go with... Is it your first time, first time on Rain Road? Yes, it is my first time. So I'd like to do one of the scenarios really more than anything. Um, I might do this one here. <laughs> so yeah the reason the tutorial um popped up uh, the introduction popped up is because this is my first time doing this one Left or right? I think they're on the left. Yeah. Well, we've had a nice like selection of um, times of day now. We've sort of had a morning one, a nice sunset one, and now we've got an evening one. So two forward. Off we go. It was really close between me and Sam Yoshi. I can't get over how well Jamie did. Um, his score was fantastic. Uh, is there a release date for the 465? No, there isn't a release date yet. Um, we will make a big announcement when uh, when we announce that. Well, when we let you know. Alrighty. Do I know how to turn on the PIS on this? I do not. If somebody does know how to do it and they want to share, I'll give it a go.
Yeah. The brakes on this aren't that bad. So for those of you currently asking for release dates, um, I'm not going to be giving out any release dates on this stream. Um, if they haven't been shared in any news articles or in any announcements, um, then we don't have a release date for you yet. It's on the left screen. Left display, click the button under F I S. Oh, this look. Okay, hold on. Let's get going. Let me give it a go. Click the button under F I S. This one or this one? Oh, F I S. So that one. Okay, we're good, we're good. What do I push after that? Two. Got it. Oh, I am speeding dreadfully because I'm not paying any attention. You guys! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was completely distracted by this green, and I was doing 140 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Come on. Oh, the brakes on this one. Come on. And that's what happens when you don't pay attention. Ugh. Man. Well. It is not a stream with me if I do not overshoot dreadfully. So there you go. And then click zoom. Okay, I will click that in a minute once I've locked the doors. It's a Natalie. It is a classic Natalie. It's what you come here for. The fact they didn't do one during the challenge was a small miracle. Yeah, it's standard by now, but this one was completely because I was paying too much attention to this here instead of what was going on in front. Right, and then click Zug verb. See, it would really help if I understood German right now, I think. It's true, I do always overshoot. Yeah, not real strikes again. Need to slow down because there's 50 kilometers coming up. I'm going to have to figure out the PIS another day, I think, because otherwise um, I'm going to end up spadding or something or derailing. Press two and then up down arrows. I'll tell you what, let's 
while I'm at the station, let's do it while I'm at the station. All right, press two. You're all excited drivers on this game. I mean, yeah, I can see why. I think I did all right on the um, on the challenge and then I got, I got too excited and now my driving is just, it's, it's even worse than normal. Brakes on this one are so much more sensitive than the other one. The game's exciting because you get to drive your, drive your favourite types of trains. What's your favourite, Yoshi? Overshoot again. Let's get in nice and gently. Outside. It's a very starry night. Now press F1 on your keyboard. What does F1 on my keyboard do before I push it? Because. Uh, Tell me what F1 does, I will probably push it as long as it doesn't like close everything. Turns the HUD off. <laughs> nice try. You see, this is why I asked. <laughs> Trying to trick me. Did I know driving trains on stream was part of the description when you joined uh, in the interview? I think your challenge shows you've come on leaps and bounds whilst it does tell. Well, first of all, thank you. Um, and second, yes, so I did know that streaming um, was going to be part of it. Um, and I remember when I was offered the job, um, I tried giving the game a go before I started. And the first one I tried was, I think it was Bakerloo, and I pushed something and I couldn't figure out what I'd pushed and I couldn't get the train to move. And I was like sat at my computer for a good half an hour and I was almost in tears because I was like, how am I going to do this job if I can't even get it to move? 
and then um, I restarted it and figured out how to get it to move and realized that the world was not going to end. Um, but yeah, there's, there's a fun story for you. Don't press back space, it doesn't turn on the window. I'm not, you guys trying to trick me into pushing buttons I shouldn't be pushing? That's mean. Usually you help me, not sabotage me. Uh, have I tried the two car on Peninsula Corridor yet? Yeah, I have not. I have not. I'm not pushing any buttons you're currently telling me to push uh, because I do not trust you enough right now um, and I'm gonna look all these buttons up I hope you know because of this and I'm gonna find out what you're asking me to actually do <laughs> Just pressing all the buttons slow down a bit Thor, it's a good job I'm not paying attention to any of your button suggestions right now. Oof. Thank you, Tom, for shouting spad. <laughs> I had not seen that um, red signal. Yep. I am forever grateful when you tell me about the upcoming red signals. I'm not quite close enough. Come on, let's creep a little bit closer. No. Come on. Let's creep. Little bit more. It's very sensitive. There we go. <sighs> yeah, for the next stream, I'm going to learn what all the buttons do so you can't try and catch me out. A on the keyboard is the camera, yeah, so A, um, some of them I know, some of them I obviously don't use that much, so I don't know what to do, so A is like the free run camera, and then obviously one puts me back in. Like I said, some of them I know, some of them are a bit obscure. What level am I? So I was on, like, level 30 something, I think, and then, um, that was when I was on my personal computer and then I changed computers so now I'm only on like level seven now I didn't carry over my levels do I play much train simulator rather than train sim world no so I tend to play um just train sim world I am looking um to play more train simulator but there is so much um DLC it is so hard to try and decide um where to start um 
but I definitely want to invest some more time in Train Simulator. Liam, you're level 60. That's amazing. Uh, Michael said, Natalie, Adam promised a consist marker. Do you know when it's coming to Train Simulator 2? I do not, Michael. Sorry. Uh, that is not something I have a date for. Do I have access to all DLCs in Train Simulator because you work at Dovetail? I do. It's one of the perks of working here. I um, have access to everything. Like, At some point, I'm going to have to go through them and click off the ones I don't want to install because I just do not have enough um, memory on the computer because there's over like a thousand pieces of DLC. It's off. Set the master... Change ends back to the depot. Yep. Jack, you reached level two hundred and eight. Wow, that's incredible. Let's run through here. Oh! Okay, hold on. I'm on the wrong one. There's another one. Whoops. Well, we don't need to be in there. Let me out. It's all the way down here. I need to go. Sorry, everyone. There we go. Off we go. I know I left the other cab door open. Ugh. Oops. Have I had the chance to drive a train bow yet? No, every time I've um, gone to drive the Javelin, I've not had a train bow. I haven't been one of those. Lucky few. I'll get very excited when I do end up uh, having one spawn. I'm just speeding horrendously. I wonder if Sam is still watching. I wouldn't blame him if he's not. I got the. Uh, I think he was here to help my nerves a little bit at the start there for sure. Uh. Might be off enjoying his weekend now. Oh, are the lights on? Um, I don't know if the lights are on. No, let's put them on. Uh, where are my headlights? High beam. There we go. That's better. Uh... I'm new to these train simulators is train sim world and train simulator dovetails products yeah so they're ours uh train sim world 2 and train simulator 2020 2021 are our most um up-to-date products bye ladies dear have a good uh, have a good evening Am I looking forward to getting back in the Dovetail office after lockdown has ended? Well, I've never actually been to the Dovetail office yet. Because um, I started in lockdown. Um, 
It would be nice to actually see the office. Yeah, she said I got the trim at least three to five times and I passed it by passed by it in before in the game. Yeah, I've um I've seen it stopped a few times um while I was going, but I haven't haven't had it spawned for me. Can you give us the next Railfan TV for the next week at the end of the stream? I should be able to give you some information for next week's one, if not all of it. Is it Sam and Adam doing the roadmap on Tuesday? Yes, it will be them. There's a chance that um, next week's schedule hasn't been completed yet. Um, often we finish finalising it like on Monday before we post it. Oh my goodness, the speed. Yeah, we're going to emergency break that one. Oh, man, you would not want to be on that rail right now. Oops. Nobody warned me about the drastic speed change. This is why when you travel on that rail, you have to bring your own helmets, you know? Yeah, that was nearly a derail. That was crazy. If my passengers are having food, it's on like the windows and the person sat next to them. That was appalling. Oh, is it an empty train? If it's an empty train, I won't feel so bad. But uh, that was not smooth. I was paying too much attention to the chat. That's the excuse I'm going to use. No, I'm not blaming the chat. I'm blaming myself for looking at the chat. <laughs> no excuses allowed. You're a professional. I know. I did a terrible job. We're going to have a nice, smooth stop now. Perfect. Is it going to... the battery and stop and I think we might be done we're done time for a good night's sleep I agree let's see let's climb down let's actually close the door this time there we go Lovely.
I don't think that would have been a gold. How was that a gold? I nearly, I nearly derailed the train. I don't think I deserved a gold there. I realized I got a gold, but I did not deserve that. So, um, this is where we're going to end the stream. Um, I'll have a quick look, see if I can find the um, schedule for you. Um, or see if there's anything to share. Um, one moment. Uh, what's the date on Monday? The 20th. No. Looking in the wrong month. Yeah, so on Monday, um, it'll be Sam, um, and he'll be doing some scenario planner stuff with you. On Tuesday, we'll have a roadmap um, with Sam and Adam. On Wednesday, you'll have a workshop Wednesday. Um, I'm not sure what's happening on Thursday yet. I think there's something going to be happening. And on Friday, it'll be another score challenge with Matt. And that'll be the last one uh, to determine the winner. So, um, place your bets by next Friday. And just for those of you who haven't seen the current score, just a reminder that Jamie is still in first place. Um, I'm in second place for now, but I'm really happy with my second place. And Sam is in third place. So, uh, yeah, that's where the scores are. I hope everybody has an absolutely lovely weekend. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you for helping me tonight. Um, and I hope everybody has a really, really lovely weekend. And I will see you on Monday. So, good night, everyone. Bye.